Do you know who the woman and the two men are? The woman is Mary Magdalene, a friend of Jesus, and the men in white clothing are angels. This little room that Mary is looking into is the place where Jesus' body was put after he died. It is called a tomb, but now the body is gone. Who took it? Let's see. After Jesus dies, the priests say to Pilate, When Jesus was alive, he said that he would be raised up after three days. So command that the tomb be guarded. Then his disciples can't steal his body and say that he has been raised from the dead. Pilate tells the priest to send soldiers to guard the tomb. But very early on the third day after Jesus had died, an angel of Jehovah suddenly comes. He rolls the stone away from the tomb. The soldiers are so afraid that they can't move. Finally, when they look inside the tomb, the body is gone. Some of the soldiers go into the city and tell the priests, Do you know what the bad priests do? They pay the soldiers to lie. Say that his disciples came in the night, while we were asleep, and stole the body. The priests tell the soldiers. Meanwhile, some women friends of Jesus visit the tomb. How surprised they are to find it empty. Suddenly two angels in bright clothing appear. Why are you looking for Jesus here? They ask. He has been raised up. Go quickly and tell his disciples. How fast the women run. But on the way a man stops them. Do you know who it is? It is Jesus. Go tell my disciples, he says. When the women tell the disciples that Jesus is alive and they have seen him, the disciples find this hard to believe. Peter and John run to the tomb to look for themselves, but the tomb is empty. When Peter and John leave, Mary Magdalene stays behind. That is when she looks in and sees the two angels. Do you know what happened to Jesus' body? God caused it to disappear. God did not raise Jesus to life in the fleshly body in which he died. He gave Jesus a new spirit body, as the angels in heaven have. But to show his disciples he is alive, Jesus can take on a body that people can see, as we will learn. After Peter and John leave the tomb where Jesus' body had been, Mary is left there alone. She begins to cry. Then she bends over and looks inside the tomb, as we saw in the last picture. There she sees two angels. They ask her, Why are you crying? Mary answers. They have taken my Lord away, and I do not know where they have put him. Then Mary turns around and sees a man. He asks her, Who is it that you are looking for? Mary thinks the man is the gardener and that he may have taken Jesus' body. So she says, If you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him. But really, this man is Jesus. He has taken on a body that Mary does not recognize. But when he calls her by her name, Mary knows this is Jesus. She runs and tells the disciples, I have seen the Lord later in the day, while two disciples are walking to the village of Emmaus. A man joins them. The disciples are very sad because Jesus has been killed. But as they walk along, the man explains many things from the Bible that make them feel better. Finally, when they stop for a meal, the disciples recognize that this man is Jesus. Then Jesus disappears, and these two disciples quickly go all the way back to Jerusalem to tell the apostles about him. While that is going on, Jesus appears also to Peter. The others get excited when they hear this. Then these two disciples go to Jerusalem and find the apostles. They tell them how Jesus also appeared to them on the road. And just when they are telling about this, do you know the amazing thing that happens? Look at the picture. Jesus appears right there in the room, even though the door is locked. How happy the disciples are. Isn't that an exciting day? Can you count the number of times that Jesus has appeared by now to his followers? Do you count five times? The Apostle Thomas is not with them when Jesus appears. So the disciples tell him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas says he will have to see Jesus himself before he believes it. Well, eight days later the disciples are together again in a locked room, and this time Thomas is with them. Suddenly, Jesus appears right there in the room. Now Thomas believes. As the days pass, Jesus shows himself to his followers many times. Once about five hundred of the disciples see him. When he appears to them, do you know what Jesus talks to them about? The kingdom of God. Jehovah sent Jesus to the earth to teach about the kingdom. And he keeps on doing this even after he is raised up from the dead. Do you remember what God's kingdom is? Yes, the kingdom is a real government of God in heaven. And Jesus is the one God chose to be king. As we have learned, Jesus showed what a wonderful king he will be by feeding the hungry, healing the sick, and even raising the dead to life. So when Jesus rules as king in heaven for a thousand years, what will it be like on the earth? Yes, 
the whole earth will be made into a beautiful paradise. There will be no more wars, or crime, or sickness, or even death. We know this is true because God made the earth to be a paradise for people to enjoy. That is why He made the Garden of Eden in the beginning. And Jesus will see to it that what God wants done is finally carried out. The time now comes for Jesus to go back to heaven. For forty days Jesus has been showing Himself to His disciples, so they are certain that He is alive again. But before He leaves His disciples, He tells them, Stay in Jerusalem until you receive Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God's active force, like blowing wind that will help His followers to do God's will. Finally, Jesus says, You are to preach about Me to the most distant parts of the earth. After Jesus says this, an amazing thing happens. He begins going up into heaven, as you can see here. Then a cloud hides him from sight, and the disciples don't see Jesus again. Jesus goes to heaven, and he begins to rule over his followers on earth from there. These people here are Jesus' followers. They have obeyed him and stayed in Jerusalem. And while they are all waiting together, a loud noise fills the whole house. It sounds like a rushing strong wind. And then tongues of fire begin to appear over the heads of each one of the disciples. Can you see the fire over each one of them? What does it all mean? It is a miracle. Jesus is back in heaven with his Father, and he is pouring out God's Holy Spirit on his followers. Do you know what this Spirit causes them to do? They all begin to speak in different languages. Many people in Jerusalem hear the noise that sounds like a strong wind, and they come to see what is happening. Some of the people are from other nations who have come here for the Israelite Feast of Pentecost. What a surprise these visitors receive. They hear the disciples speaking in their own languages about the wonderful things that God has done. These people are all from Galilee, the visitors say. How is it then that they are able to speak in these different languages that belong to the countries where we come from? Peter now stands up to explain to them. He raises his voice and tells the people how Jesus was killed and that Jehovah raised him from the dead. Now Jesus is in heaven at the right hand of God, Peter says, and he has poured out the promised Holy Spirit. That is why you have seen and heard these miracles. Well, when Peter says these things, many of the people feel very sorry about what was done to Jesus. What should we do? They ask. Peter tells them, You need to change your lives and be baptized. So on that very day about 3,000 people get baptized and become followers of Jesus. Look at the angel here holding open the door of the prison. The men he is setting free are Jesus' apostles. Let's find out what led to their being put in prison. It has been only a short time since the Holy Spirit was poured out on Jesus' disciples. And this is what happens. Peter and John are going into the temple in Jerusalem one afternoon. There, near the door, is a man who has been crippled all his life. People carry him here every day so that he can beg for money from those going into the temple. When he sees Peter and John, he begs them to give him something. What will the apostles do? They stop and look at the poor man. I have no money. Peter says, but I will give you what I have. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. Peter then takes the man by the right hand, and at once he jumps up and begins walking. When the people see this, they are amazed and very happy for this wonderful miracle. It is by the power of God who raised Jesus from the dead that we did this miracle. Peter says, while he and John are speaking, some religious leaders come along. They are angry because Peter and John are telling the people about Jesus' being raised from the dead. So they grab them and put them into prison. The next day the religious leaders have a big meeting. 